What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the set of CJ's first cooking show. We're it's here. a glorious day in Exciting. fall. We are having ourselves a good time. In case you didn't know, my name is CJ. Oh, yeah. Right over there's Nate. Oh, hey. Yeah. Right over there's Ethan. Oh. Today, I've got a fun one in store for you. you I sure? actually, I was craving a grilled cheese. Then I was like, dang, I want steak, and a cheesesteak sounds good. And then I was like, you know what? What if I made a grilled cheese cheesesteak, but I also wanted a dipper? The Dude, like, cheese? so I, I'm gonna make a homemade au jus. You mix in three recipes? Yes, you a French dip, a cheesesteak, and a grilled cheese. Shh. All into one perfect little component. I don't think this is legal. It's the best of both worlds! Let them know now. Just get ready. <laughs> Buckle up, buttercup. So Okay, to start things off, let's get to Aju. Bless you! Now you know what Aju means, right? You looked this up. Or you no, you didn't look it up. You know. I speak French. I speak French. You obviously Polyvoo speak... Francine. She think if a man came up to you and said Polyvoo Francine. So look, let's talk about this for a sec. Normally with a roux, which by the way, I'm making a roux. Uh, um, a roux to start the Aju. Yes. Who knew? Okay, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> uh, normally to make a roux, you use butter and flour. Today I'm using bacon fat. Oh, come on. So essentially you're just wanting a delicious fat to... Yeah, roux is fat and flour. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes equal parts, but I tend to go a little bit heavier on the fat. Well, on like a, a wet roux. Gross, gross. I've also got some fresh garlic cloves. Gonna throw this in here, let that toast with our bacon fat. Oh, heck and to the while yeah. that's also there, gonna go. What? Whoop. Yep. You're gonna, go ahead and put the, gonna go ahead and put this <laughs> in there. Just a reboot for a second? I, I had to like stop, repeat, figure it out. I'm gonna let that cruise and roast together. Now, once it's time to actually add the flour, I'm gonna pull that rosemary. I don't know how well it's gonna. You could leave it in there. It's I've fine. never, if you say yeah. so, I've never done that. Yeah, essentially, technique. once you add the flour and mix the fat and flour together, all those flavors really start to combine, and it looks stunning and gorgeous, and it'll start to smell amazing too. <laughs> That's what I was. But gonna... you want to cook it for like three to four minutes before adding your liquid. Anything well, else? What liquid are we adding? <laughs> <laughs> Liquids wise, we're gonna be adting some beef bone mm. broth. Not stock. You Not know this stock. One. Bone broth. Now this is, it's essentially just using, you You hate this, I use this term. Do it. Using the carcass. Mm. Yummy. We've also got some Worcestershire and we've got some red, red wine. <sighs> Go to my head. We're using a uh, Cabernet, as they say. You could pick some up by the bay. What do you say? What the hay? I, I just, just may. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a big, bold flavor, as I've heard people say. Wow, you. we're cruising. This for a bruising, you. I don't know. Yes, we're gonna use some red wine. Now to season, obviously, if you've just got salt and pepper, go for it, that's completely fine. But we've got some really good would you, would you herb flavor what? happening. Mm -hmm. And I wanna add whoa, whoa. some compounding seasonings. Fist no, of a gun? no, I would normally use this, just this steakhouse seasoning, but Blackstone just came out with this new High Plains steak. Dang, uh, good. It's money, dude. It's it is real good. It's real, real, it's real, real nice. good. Really nice. All right, now let's give that a quick whisk. Dude, this was fun to see like this thicken up. Um, I've done a roux a couple of times, but never in We did that uh, like massive amount of roux with Bruce. Oh, we did yeah, that black dude, that chocolate roux yeah, looked like brownie mix. It looked like mix. brownie mix, exactly. Yeah. This is the you call a chocolate roux. Now also one thing, uh, make sure you're on a low heat here. We're gonna let that reduce just a little bit, but that's essentially the consistency is that, gonna that take we the want to go of for. All the, all the things, all the stuff? It's definitely gonna be the lengthiest whoa, whoa. of the process. Welcome, ringing in the new year already. Man, we had a, a roof. Hear the bells. Ringing, never gives up. Are there words at that time? I don't, I don't think so. While our jus is doing its thing over with there. Juice. The, the jus, what did you say that it means? Au jus means with juice. Oh, well, not to be, ooh, with, with peppers. Dude, with juice. Speaking of which, I watched last night, what? Um, Blank Check, Juice. Oh, what, what's the, what's the guy, the, the rapper, isn't his name Juice? Juice? I don't know, maybe I'm, I may be wrong. But look at my name is Juice. Anyway, I've got some green bell pepper here. <laughs> We're going to, I'm gonna normally, uh, with like a cheesesteak, I would have this julienne. 
but I'm gonna do a small King dice. Julian. I do not know. They are just a bunch of pansies. Uh, I've got a small dice that's gonna be happening here. Uh, get rid of the pith and the seeds, whatever technique you like. I've also got a yellow onion. Gonna cut this up and chop it up at essentially the same size. Honestly, it's a perfect combo with green bell peppers and yellow onion. Dude. Now this is where the money is at. This is where the magic Wait. is at. We have got some remarkable shaved beef. Now if is you it go- remarkable? It is, it it's is, really it's, it's shaved ribeye. If you go to mm. your grocery store, uh, they will do this for you. Or freeze I just, it and use a bread knife. You could do that. Fun this hack. is the easiest and the quickest way to do it. So we're gonna go down on our Blackstone. Now I've got my Blackstone on high. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil and put that beef into the olive oil. And I'm gonna season, not too generously, but generous enough with uh, that steak seasoning that we used earlier. We're compounding mm. flavors, my friend. Bam. Now, right next to that, I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now, because I, I do want the bell peppers and the onion to have a little bit of bite, but I definitely want that soft, caramelized texture. Mm -hmm. And Here's those, my friends, are gonna cruise for just a moment while they're cruising for said a bruising. bruising. That's my drink, <laughs> thank you, Ethan. Whoa. I do, <laughs> thanks, guy, that was, that was hey, really nice of you. She's a season for sharing. Exactly. Dude, we're cruising. Cruising. We are cruising. So I'm some... cruising. Now I want to clean off uh, this side of my griddle because we're gonna get some texture, buddy. We're some gonna texture, get buddy. some texture with our bread. And um, ooh, yeah, I'm nice. That. Whoa, did you, you just channel Bruce? <laughs> oh ooh, yeah. Buddy. Oh yeah. Oh wait, did I get grease on my lens? I think I got some. A little bit. Huh? A little bit. Oh. A little greasy story of your life. I'm a Dapper Dan man. Hey, so uh, at the grocery store today, I actually was on the hunt for some sourdough, but on they the did Josh not. Hunt. <laughs> exactly, they did not have any sourdough bread, but we've got this nice Italian loaf here. So uh, essentially what I was wanting is not just the average piece of toast. Um, and I like this larger style. When we cut yeah. this up, it's gonna be a fun dipper. Speaking of dipper, look over here, we've got oh. some bubbles cruising. You know what, I'm, I think we're at the consistency that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the heat here. Kill him. We'll kill him. And um, yeah, we're, we are good okay. to go there. Now this toast is not gonna take long, but while that's cruising, the cheese element to this grilled mm. cheese. Are you double seasoning, steak, double cheese steak. seasoning? Yes. So Double I've got cheese some son of a gun. shredded sharp cheddar here. Okay. And I'm gonna let this start melting. Dude, we've got some breeze. It's kind of affecting my game. Uh, you know what? I think I need more cheese. Yeah, you want it to be gooey, right? This needs to not just be Because this a is a mix steak. of three sandwiches. That's right. A gooey cheese steak with a grilled gooey cheese. Chuck. And now do. Yes, all those things. All those things. Exactly. Oh, that's better. That's what I'm going to be looking for. All right, now here in just a second, all these components are going to come together as if the pieces fit, because I know. Speaking of the pieces fit, hey, CJ, did you know? Did you know that Danny Carey actually never uses a click? neither for live shows or for recording in studio. So because of this, he has some inconsistencies in between them and it makes it a little bit hard on Adam Jones, who is the guitarist. So he sets up multiple delay pedals at different <laughs> delay tempos and he will switch in between the, like, like the two or three that are there while playing to match because Danny Carey does not have a click and he's just going off of Danny Carey. Okay, so as a musician, that's madness. This is Sparta! I didn't even know Harry Carey wrote music. Hey guys, <laughs> would you play the song if you didn't have a click? <laughs> I know I would. Okay, that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. Uh, but that makes sense for the, the tempos of the song and the craziness of Tool, which also, by the way, I didn't tell Ethan what lyrics I was going to give him to make that transition. I know the piece is... <laughs> Coming back to our bread. Let's make our way back over to the griddle. Now let's flip this. Yep. Texture's everything, because we got gooey, we got crispy. Dippy. We're gonna have the dip, so we need a little extra love. They're gonna, so, gonna have the what? It's dip! That's right, my dear! Flip the bread, we're gonna add a healthy amount of provolone cheese. Now while that one side is getting crispy, we're also getting ooey and gooey with the cheese. Now on top of that provolone, mm. we're gonna add a, 
Not, don't be too generous with the mound because there's going to be, be a lot. Don't be Scrooge McDuck. And a bar humbug to you. Now once that is officially at the crispiness level that we want and the cheesiness level that mm. we want, let's fold those up, add those together, give them a flip or two because I want that provolone to get chew, like chewy. Cheesy. I want that provolone to get cheesy as well. So you might have to flip once or twice, giving each side a chance to heat up, but you don't want to burn it. That, my friend, looks perfect. Cooked You'll know. Cooked goose for everyone. For a cooked goose for everyone. It's Ebenezer Scrooge, yes. You'll know that you're at the right place because you're going to get that golden brown exterior. You're mm. going to see the cheesy Texture. interior. Let's pull this off, add a little bit of au jus to a bowl, slice it, and this plate. Is a, this Dude, is a beast. look at a beast. look at that, my it's man. A gooey, messy beast. Also, let's not forget to post dust. And to post this one, we're gonna go with our original steakhouse. Boom. Boom. It's a few simple steps to get to greatness, apparently. 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 We haven't eaten it yet. Apparently, sometimes I don't watch the sh I don't watch the news. No, it's true. But I've made grilled cheese. Uh, I've made yeah. a cheesesteak. This is pretty legendary looking. I have never made an au jus, and I gotta say, I'm really looking forward to this. So, You're like it's someone's with you. Without further au jus. Oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> uh, and off camera, Ethan said he's never had au jus. Ooh, this is almost, a, it's almost a little more on the Ooh, gravy this side. It's like a diner style au jus, bro. Here we go. Like a diner has the best coffee in the world. Great job, everybody. It's great to meet you. Hi. Hmm. That was a great reference. Just to elf, yo. Yeah. Now be sure not to eat the gum. <laughs> I knew I'd get you, I knew I'd get you. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Winner, winner. Eggnog dinner, I was trying to here's, force it. Here's uh, something I'm noticing right away. The texture of the bread is really standing out. Yeah? Crispy on the inside and on the outside. It looks gorgeous. Um, Dude, that, that cheesy provolone Normally, most au jus that I've had is a little more of a loose sauce. So it's kind of on the gravy side of things. Mm. First au jus seems to be a winner. Turns out you're not a cotton-headed ninny muggin. <laughs> well played. Um, leave it in the comments. Are you an au jus fan? Actually, are you a French dip, cheese steak, grilled cheese fan? Because <laughs> this is all of them. Because this is all of those things into one delicious recipe. Speaking of comments, Ooh, hmm. are we? Have, is this? I don't, wait a minute. Wait right. a minute. It's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. Well, this is the segment of the show where I screenshot comments mm -hmm. from you, the viewers. Mm -hmm. If you guys write it. Oh, we read it. And we all take part in this delightful experience. Sometimes delightful. Sometimes not so delightful. I'm looking forward to which is which today. Well, let's get started from the top in no particular order. This first one comes in from Dougie Fresh. Dougie Fresh. Dougie Doug. Do you it's remember Dougie Doug? Oh, oh, hi, Dougie Doug. Hi. Oh, yeah. Cousin Dougie Doug. Is, uh, yeah, that, uh, yeah. DJ Jazzy Jeff. And it's also Easy E. Cruising down the street in my six boat. Who's related? Easy E. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Dougie says, 20 minutes for a five minute video. Oh. And then I commented <laughs> under it, it's a gift. Yeah. What are you gonna do? True. True. This is reality. Those five minute videos, those are not real. People don't actually cook in five minutes. Well, some, sometimes. We don't. We definitely don't. So 20 minutes is definitely more on the reality side. So yeah. Doug E. Fresh. Keeping it real. I'm actually keeping it fresh. See? See. That ain't it. Okay, this next one comes in from a, a regular, if you will, a okay. usual. Who is it? Douglas Downing. Douglas Junior. Exactly. Says two successful recipes in a row. Whoa. Just when I think I'm out, and you go and draw me back in. Wow. I wish I could quit you. I wish I knew how to quit you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Take it easy, Iron Man. Okay, this next one is from a new friend. Oh. But apparently a longtime viewer, someone okay. that we met when we were in Dallas. This is from Amanda Henry. Hug and kiss. Amanda. Looking for Amanda. Amanda hug and kiss. <laughs> well, looking for Amanda hug and kiss. <laughs> Maybe your standards are too high. 
Amanda says, I'm all about Ethan's aggressive bell ring on this oh, episode. Oh, Amanda, my friend. Really laughing at me? <laughs> no, we played now a joke you on know. You. We played a joke on you. She was only pretending to be a fan of your show. Ah. Uh, you can go find Amanda Hug and Kiss. If I ever find out who you are. Okay, uh, this next one comes in from Casey Bailey, which I've not seen Casey comment. Maybe you have before. But Casey says, how can I love so much about you? Okay. But you don't like shrooms. Gross, smelly mushroom. What a shame. Yep. What a exactly. shame. Yeah. Shame, shame. I know your name. <laughs> mushrooms are just gross. No. That's all there is no. to it. They're just nasty. Nobody no wants one to agrees. eat fungus. Please, no. Casey <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> I'm with you, Casey. I'm going to find someone who agrees with me. All right, this next one is uh, from Revis Stockard. Revis and Kelly Lee? <laughs> no, no, it's Revis and Butthead. Oh. Oh! oh. And score! <laughs> I just rolled off the tongue real nice. Uh, this came off of your show. And Revis... Off of mine? Yeah, says, Peanut sauce doesn't look good. That's not... It didn't doesn't look, look good. good. It did. It, it didn't was a creamy look good. peanut sauce. Did you try it? Was it? something, but it wasn't it? necessarily good. Try I tried it? it, and it doesn't matter. Ethan, did you try it? Nope. That's right. We don't eat his food on his set. <laughs> it's not even true. At uh huh. All. Nobody eats. <laughs> we all go hungry on Nate's set. We all had like one body or dumb sandwich <sighs> today. <laughs> I I don't. Well, I need more food. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Tragedy. <laughs> 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 it's completely gone. It's... Jason Schroeder. Hey, Jason. 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 Yes. Yes. Yes, yes yeah. Mr. Money Penny. <laughs> uh, Jason says mushrooms are for people who don't know how to cook and need something that tastes bad to match the food they made that tastes bad. Dot, dot, what? dot. You. Some... Mushrooms what? are for people who don't know how to cook and need something that tastes bad to mask their food they made that tastes bad. Jason. Dot, dot, dot. Jason. Jason. I agree with you. Good old Jason. This guy's the born ultimatum over here. Probably. Jason. Ooh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate you hanging out for this 20 minute <laughs> debacle. lengthy debacle. No, it was good. Uh, was some good things one. to walk away with. Number one, if your au jus gets a little thick, add a little more broth. Uh, add a little more red wine or Worcestershire, whatever you guys want to do, but really just get it to the taste that you want. That gravy was actually mm. pretty freaking money. He had never done au jus before. What'd you think? It's pretty gravy. It's gravy or? Gra gravy? Also, the cheese. Multiple flips so you get the provolone multiple nice, cheeses. nice and, and multiple cheeses. Cheese um, it up. But if you look behind me, we've got the yeah, OG board as we call it. There. And my sweet new friend. Ginger Ninja, we were in Dallas. She came and hung out with us. So, ladies and gentlemen, none other than Ginger Ninja is gonna jump the in. The Ginger here. Ninja in the house. There she is. She Super cool. was the first one to bring me a sticker. So, Ginger, we are. You've made you know the board. what? We're getting a little full. I'm gonna start making some room. Well, well, okay. We're getting a little more real estate over here. So, Ginger, there you go. You're going right up there. The great sticker. Um, be sure to go to blackstoneproducts.com for this recipe and tons of others. Watch all the fun shows that we have coming out. Um, if you're interested in Nah Dude, Nah Dude, it could be a party. But it's Nah Dude. But it's Nah Dude. Also, go to griddlenation.com where you can get shirts like said shirt. Uh, but leave a comment down below. Actually, now that we're in the season, Leave your yeah. favorite Christmas comment down below. Ooh, all, all Christmas only movie quotes next episode. I don't know if we can do that. That's a tough one. A, we can try. We can try. And then maybe do like some kind of contest. For ourselves? Christ no, for I'll them. win. You will definitely not win. I, I know, wasn't for talking fact, you're to not... you. Okay, that was good. I'll give you that one. One okay. more ring. Wait, he, he did ring already. Cool. There it is. We'll see you guys in the next episode. All right. Take care now. Bye-bye, <laughs> then. Hey, you did it.